ढूंढने की टॉक अबाउट न्यू ड्रग्स ऑफ सीवीएस बट बिफोर दैट सम एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट्स ऑन डिजिटलिस फैक्टर्स increase the toxicity of digoxin okay there are three factors which can increase the toxicity of digoxin metabolic factors drugs and some pathological factors metabolic factors in body if there is increase in calcium that can increase toxicity of digoxin increase of potassium also can increase the toxicity of digoxin and decrease of magnesium increase of calcium increase of potassium and decrease of magnesium can increase the toxicity of drugs in drugs which drugs can increase the digoxin toxicity that is quinidine verapamil amiodarone and thiazides so how to remember this queen bat queen bat are the drugs which can increase the digoxin toxicity that is verapamil amiodarone thiazides and quinidine now pathology which pathological factors can increase toxicity we have already discussed if digoxin so it uses renal pathway so if renal failure uses metabolism of kidney so renal failure for digoxin and digitalis and digitoxin digitoxin uses liver pathway so liver failure and this one is withdrawn from market now drug of choice drug of choice for digoxin induced arrhythmia what are the drugs can be given in digoxin induced can give lidocaine lignocaine or phenytoin
but for severe decoxin toxicity. We use DG band. DG bind. Sorry. DG bind. This is a monoclonal antibody. Now I already studied about CHF congestive heart failure or compensatory congestive heart failure. chronic congestive heart failure so what happens in this congestive heart failure this will occur because decrease of cardiac output heart is weak cannot push blood throughout so decrease cardiac output this will give impulse and our sympathetic system will start working so because body is not getting blood from the sympathetic system adrenaline and noradrenaline will start releasing which will go to beta 1 receptors for increasing cardiac output this is the way normally the sympathetic system works on the heart but some other things are also going on in this pathway which is making it more worse this one Sympathetic adrenaline and non adrenaline, they will activate alpha receptors. This will do vasoconstriction. So, due to vasoconstriction, increase of preload. The blood coming to the heart will increase now. and also this will be from the veins an increase in afterload because lot of blood is pushing also pushing out from the heart this will be done by arteries beta 1 receptor is also present in JG cells this will produce renin JG cells are present in kidney this will initiate angiotensin renin will change angiotensin renin will go to renin angiotensin pathway this angiotensin coming to angiotensin 1 and it will convert into angiotensin 2 in lungs with the help of converting enzyme ACE angiotensin converting enzyme now angiotensin 2 will go to angiotensin 1 receptors all over the body now this one will do vaso constriction in the blood vessels but in medulla adrenal medulla
it will increase adrenaline and non adrenaline and in adrenal cortex it will increase aldosterone this aldosterone will increase sodium so it will bring water also this one will lead to edema and due to sodium cardiac activity will start working a lot of blood is coming so left ventricular hypertrophy and due to this there will be death of myocardial tissue so this is called cardiac remodeling this is just the additional points now let's move on to new drugs new drugs first one this works on b n p brain natriuretic peptide it decreases sodium or rather loose sodium and also works on vessels for vasodilation bnp there is a pathway is broken down through an ep this is also called niprilysin nep means neutral endo peptide now the drug we can use we can either increase bnp so it will decrease sodium and vasodilate or else we can block this nep so bnp can be increased generally we use recombinant one both of them together so that bnp increase so which drugs can initiate bnp nizeritide this is recombinant bnp given by iv this is short acting can be used in acute cases nizeritide number 2 we can block nep this are ending with trill those are sacubitril ecadotril
this can be given orally third one which we can use that is vaso peptide vaso peptide is inhibitors these are vaso peptide is inhibitors these are both those who have ac inhibitor which will not allow to convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 plus nep inhibitors combination the drug name is omapatri trilate omapatrilate so in this name trill is also there and one more drug sampatrilate this both the drugs have some side effect this is cough and angioedema these were some few drugs which we can use these are new drugs BNP NEP inhibitor and vasopeptidase inhibitor which have ACE and NEP blockers BNP is a short acting drug NEP they have ending name with triptyl succubitril ecadotril Vasopeptidase are ACE inhibitors and NEP inhibitors. Omapatrilate and sampatrilate. They produce a side effect cough and angioedema. And here just production of JG cells running in the kidney which ultimately go to angiotensin receptors which cause vasoconstriction in the adrenal medulla they release adrenaline and non-adrenaline in the adrenal cortex they release aldosterone because of this there are two things aldosterone that is edema and left ventricular hypertrophy